It's like a very vibrant fuchsia color. Beautiful. This is called a prickly pear. And it's part of the cactus family. And it grows. So the cactus plant, and this just attaches to the plant. And it flowers and then it fruits. You guys can look closer. Because we bought this at the store, they cleaned it for us before already. But if you saw it in its natural, it would actually have spikes, like quite sharp spikes, so you wouldn't be able to touch it. You wouldn't have to find something to brush it off before you can break it off the cactus tree. This I've never tried before, okay? So this is my very, very first time. And it's not that expensive. So let's see. I can't really tell if it's ripe. Ow, I got some thorn. So the um, spikes are quite, quite sharp. There's still a little bit attached to it. Oh, nice, that's pretty. So the outside is green, but the inside is purple. It's like a, um, it looks kind of like a beet when you cut it up like this. Very nice color. I didn't expect it to be this color. I was expecting to be more like um, kind of like a whitish color, but this is very nice. The skin is actually quite thick. That's really interesting. So the outside's green and the inside's purple. Mm, it smells like watermelon. Mmm, nice. Look at this. The color is really, really pretty. I bet you if you guys make this into like a um, juice, you can make like really pretty colors with it. There's too much seeds in there. It's not that sweet. It tastes like um, a watermelon, but it's not as juicy. The texture is very similar to a watermelon. It's kind of, um, it has that kind of um, texture, but it's not sweet. Very, very mild. But it's Beautiful. The colors. Amazing. The passion fruit. This is called a jan um, in Vietnamese is called jan yai. Jan means translated is kind of like says it means um a lemon vine. So this is called a passion fruit. And if you guys have actually seen the plant, it's beautiful. The flower, oh, it's gorgeous. So it's very shiny and the skin is kind of leathery feeling. So this is actually native to Brazil and um, it comes either, there's this color. So these are the three that I got. They do vary in colors, but the inside of this one is going to be a yellow flesh. And I know there's ones where they have, um, the outside is yellow. But those ones I don't like as much as I do compared to these ones, because these ones are more fragrant. They're more aromatic. The other one has, it doesn't smell as, as floral as this one. Mm, once you cut it up, oh my god, it smells so nice. It has a very, very rich floral um, fragrance. Mm. It's 
smells like a mixture of strawberry, just picture the smell, just imagine the smell of a fruit punch. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, it smells so nice. Because it's um, entirely of fleshy, it's botanically considered a berry. So each seed is covered with fleshy sacks of pulpy juice. What you do is you just kind of detach it like this. Mmm, mm, that's sour. But oh my god, it smells so good. So again, if you guys want to get rid of a little bit of the sourness, you just sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. I know a lot of people use this in drinks, and a little goes a long ways. You just Maybe need a little bit of it and the smell and the taste of it, you can really, really taste it. It has a really, really rich um, aroma. Mm. I love it because it's, I love the seeds, the crunchiness of the seeds gives it a lot of texture. And then it has that, um, poppy flesh to it. It's very, very nice. So we've tried the passion fruit, we've tried the prickly pear, the sour, um, the custard, apple, guava, rambutan. Now what I have left is I have the dragon fruit. I have three in varieties right here. Jack and love. That's what it's called in Vietnamese, Tan Long. It means dragon. And I've read that the flowers that comes from, that blooms from here, they're actually, you can actually eat them or you can steep it and make it into a tea. A very, very nice aromatic tea. And look at the color. It's very nice color. It's like a nice, fuchsia color. These two are very similar. It's just once I cut them up, you'll see the difference. But the out outside texture is very similar. Very soft, very leathery feel to it. And if you guys can actually um, get a chance to look at the tree, oh my gosh, the dragon fruit tree is very very exotic looking very interesting and when we were on our trip to hawaii it kind of grew it was um growing wild along um the sides of the road oh it was fantastic just to see it all the um cactus just hanging all over with the beautiful beautiful colors of the fruit it's very pretty very pretty so these are the two, but this one is also part of the dragon fruit family. But you can tell it's different, the outside, and it's yellow. This is very similar to the prickly pear. So it attaches right here to the plant, but with these ones, they were, um, they had prickly um, needles to, on it. So I watched a little uh, um, video on it. So, oh, there's some attached right here. So it was very, very spiky. So what they did was they took a little brush and they kind of brushed off all the prickly um, needles to get to the fruit. It's either pitaya or dragon fruit, and translated is tan long in Vietnamese.
So this one, you can just open it like this. Just kind of peel like an orange. Wow. Dragon's tail. Beautiful, vibrant yellow color. There's not that much smell to it. There you go, it's like an ice cream cone. Okay. Let's try it. There's a very, very mild smell. The texture is like a kiwi fruit and the look very similar to a kiwi fruit. It's white and then the inside it has a bunch of black seeds. The seeds are kind of nutty. Very similar to a, um, a kiwi fruit. Mm. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. Mm, this one has a nicer um, smell to it. it smells like um has a smell of like a blackberry. And you don't want the flesh to be more translucent than this, because if it is, then it'll be mushy. It wouldn't be good. Mm. Mm, that's really nice. It has a, this one has a sweeter flush. As you can tell, the seeds are smaller compared to the yellow one. So that's the yellow one, and this is the um, white one. The seeds are smaller, the meat is a little bit more firm, and it's a little bit sweeter. This one is going to be very beautiful inside. Cut this one up for you. It's like a very vibrant fuchsia color. Beautiful. This one, it doesn't smell as fragrant as the white one. Let's have a taste. Again, you can just peel it off. This one's a little bit easier to peel off. But look at the color, you guys. Oh my gosh, even the skin. Look at this. The skin of the red dragon fruit versus the white one is a lot thinner. This one is thicker and is can tell the difference. Mmm. Mmm. This one has a very, very, very nice floral fragrance to it compared to the white one. And it's sweeter too. It doesn't smell like it would be sweeter, but once you actually bite into it, it's very nice. Mmm. Mmm.
A white one, a red one, and uh, this one's supposed to be yellow, but mm, it's more white to me. My favorite is this one. Does it smell as fragrant as I thought it would be? But it's a lot sweeter and it smells so nice once you eat it. <laughs> and this one by far is more expensive. This one I got I think um, almost $10 for just this one. Whereas the white one because they have more of it, it I got two um, for about $4. $10? $2. Ah, that was so nice. I was in exotic fruit paradise today, you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching me. If you guys have tried any of these, please let me know what you think. Or if there's anything you want me to try, I'm willing to try it. I'm open. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.